Hey, welcome to Brightworks. What are we doing today? Well, we are going to put this compressor in that 930 slant nose that you've seen us working on. And uh, we just got everything shifted over to the new compressor. We took the uh, manifolds off the old compressor, cleaned them up as you can see, and then uh, uh, filled this guy with three ounces of oil so that no issues with lockup or anything like that. And then the other three ounces that the system requires, we'll put that in through the, uh, uh, through the charge port with our, uh, with our AC machine. So we're going to get on with it. A, um, since it does have oil in it, we're going to have to be a little bit careful with uh, turning it on its side as we, as we install it. So I'm going to see if we can, we can get you guys along for the ride. All right, so as you can see, I've got the uh, uh, suction hose and the discharge hose just kind of hooked up. We haven't tightened anything down yet. And what we're going to do is we're, since these guys only use uh, uh, flat washers, oops, since these guys use flat washers, we're going to just use a tiny little bit of uh, uh, blue Loctite. And these only go to... 25 newton meters so 25 newton meters not a lot if you go much past that which uh, plenty of people have you'll strip out the threads in the very expensive mounting bracket okay so we're just gonna Tighten these by hand. And then the big thing will be how we route the hoses. All right, so you see that the suction side hose right now is, ver is uh, horizontal. We're going to pinch that down quite a bit because two things. One, you want to be able to get your oil filter off. All right, so getting the oil filter off is probably more important than anything else. Um, Although some people say, hey, you only change the oil once a year, so if you got to pull the compressor, who cares? But I think there's more elegant ways of doing it. So we're going to, let's see, 25 newton meters. Make sure everything's just square. And if it pulls out, I'd rather it pull out now because I can fix it with a time cert. But looks like we're in good shape. One, two, three. All right, cool beans. So now that we have got that sort it out go after the uh, suction side and I know we've got plenty of hose ooh you know what I think I want to go underneath the uh, breather tube from the from the engine crankcase I think I want to go underneath that so in order to do that, I'm just gonna have to loosen this guy up a little bit. And remember, when you put these on, you've got to lube the O-rings. Um, we've done that. But if you forget to do that, it can be a pain in the butt because you'll tear the O-ring and then you'll be stuck. stuck right you just have to pull it all back apart and replace the o-ring okay so that gives me plenty of room we'll even have this guy torqued over a little bit this way so that we can get that oil filter out in the future just in case somebody that's not me wants to change the oil 
what's interesting is when you read the compressor installation instructions, these guys don't actually get torqued down that much. I think 24 foot pounds or something like that. Okay. So worst case scenario, depending on where our belt sets this, we should still be able to get our uh, oil filter out without any problems. Now, tight, tight. Those three are tight. The other thing we want to do is because we put uh, oil in the compressor, right? We drained it and then we put the oil we want to use in the compressor. You want to turn this guy around about a dozen times. Direction of rotation. And all that's going to do is push the oil through the uh, uh, high side, the discharge side. So right now it's probably all sitting in the bottom loop of what goes up to that uh, rear condenser. All right, I think we've got that installed. So what we've got to do now is we've got to make our way to the front left corner. We're gonna pull off the tire and we're gonna put the dryer in because I'm pretty sure, we'll double check it, pretty sure we've got everything sealed up except the dryer. So let's head over there. All right, front left tire, because we know that the dryer lives back there. So, get this guy off. I've had this wheel on and off half a dozen times at this point. And I know that the owner wants me to send it out to get the scratches fixed. So you would think one of the times that I took it off, we'd have done that. Okay, so what are we looking at? Well, right now we have no dryer because uh, we took it out. But we've got our clamps and we've got our hoses. So this is my least favorite part because these hoses all kind of end here but they, they're not in the right spot for the dryer. So we might have to do a little bit of figuring. So let me go find our dryer and we'll get on with it. All right, so we got our dryer in. Now we'll fine tune how far up and down we actually put it. But um, I like to put one clamp above and one clamp below the sight glass. I mean, the sight glass is useless as an, in an R134 uh, system, but they still put them in the dryers. Now, if you... Uh, get the good hoses from Charlie, it'll tell you. This one goes to the lower port, and this one goes to the uh, upper port. Oh, there it is. So with this guy being basically our limitation, it looks like that's about as high as we can go with the dryer. Now, on the really nice ones, they actually, there you go, you kind of hear it there. So this dryer, actually had a, uh, a vacuum in it. So that way it wasn't sucking up uh, air. So what we're gonna do now, and you can probably tell, this lower port is way, way too far down. So we're gonna have to move that hose. But in the uh, interest of time and not leaving this dryer open to free air for that long, uh, we're gonna get those installed. So we're gonna grab some O-rings and we're gonna put these on. All right, so I've got these haphazardly fit. Now you can see right here, right there, that this, this car has very big tires on it. So what we can't really do, we don't have a lot of room. We can't run this hose back here. So typically you'll see that this fitting will be over here and it comes down inside. But we can't really do that here. So what we're gonna have to do is figure out an elegant way of getting that guy back so we might actually try and fit him behind the um, uh, pressure side here and then this guy we've got a bunch of hose that we've got a lot of room down here to play with but that means now we have to go back and just adjust all of these uh, uh, hold downs so let me uh, let me do some figuring and we'll show you what we end up with all right looks like we have some success 
Um, you know, again, I was worried mostly about the fact that the tire came back here and rubbed. So I did put a little bit of uh, extra here. As a Porsche friend of mine, Rob Van Name, likes to say, if you're going to zip tie it once, you might as well zip tie it twice. But those are stainless zip ties. They shouldn't be going anywhere. Um, we've got our, you know, this is your pressure hose. So he's the big one. So we routed him up as high as possible. And then, yeah, this is still a pressure hose, but it's the little one. So he's on the bottom. But, yeah, I think we got this. We've got our... Uh, um, dryer tightened down so what we're going to do is we're going to move back to the back of the car and we're going to hook up a, a vacuum and see if uh, all this stuff works so the good news is it looks like our service ports are uh, able to be hooked up based on where we had everything kind of located and situated so this is uh, freya freon no freya was a boss in uh, world of warcraft anyway what we're going to do Yep, I name them all. What we're going to do is we are going to run a vacuum with a uh, quick test just to see if we got all the hoses hooked up. So we're going to run a 10 minute without the leak test. And uh, when that's done, we will uh, come back and show you. But usually we can tell pretty quickly. Well, look at that. Pull the back. That's good. That's very, very good. That means... Uh, we got all our connections connected. Now, are they tight enough? We'll know after we run this back. Ooh, so there's a new one. Vacuum test failed. Interesting. So we'll go around and check each connection. And uh, it doesn't look like it's back here. Hmm. Interesting. All right, well, we will go uh, sort that out. Let's see, we've got... One, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, and eight. All of those have been tightened down. So then under here, we've got nine and ten. So, we'll have to go figure out where is that leak coming from. I know that the front condenser had a hole in it, but we replaced the front condenser. So, and we're going to have to figure out. We replaced the evaporator, replaced the dryer and all the hoses. So, I wonder if this rear condenser is leaking. But what we're going to do, we're going to put a small charge in it, and we're going to sniff it. So once we get a small charge in there, we'll get the sniffer out and take it along. Definitely not going to need a uh, sniffer because there it is right there. That 90-degree fitting is leaking. So I'm going to pause this. We're going to quit it, and we're going to evac it. to do that we'll come back to you interesting though that 90 degree fitting and it's coming out of the fitting portion not the wow okay we'll have to put a new fitting on there all right so we replaced her with this a straight coupling we're still able to get our uh, couplers on there so we're running a back test but uh you know, I used to like these things a lot because on the 944s, it gives you access. But, yeah, it was leaking through um, through there, which is kind of crazy. But that's just a, a real shame. And it did have an O-ring in it. I took that out trying to figure out where was it leaking from. But, uh, all right, we're going to run a back test. Hopefully we solved our issue because everybody else looks good so we'll come back to you we're not gonna we're not gonna quit till we finish this all right that's what we want to see that's much more like it back test passed okay so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna set this guy up 
and do another hour of vacuum and then purge him with some Freon. But we've got a, uh, a system that uh, is now happy. So yeah, that's uh, all's well that ends well. So thanks for watching and uh, sorry we had that little hiccup, but hey, when you try to use, uh, do new things, and different parts, sometimes stuff happens. Check us out at brightworks.com. Hit that subscribe button and have a fantastic day.